I'm uh, Noel Celis, uh, 33 years old. Uh, I'm working for EFP for seven years as a photojournalist based in Manila. But before that, uh, at first I was a wedding photographer. And after working as a wedding photographer for three years, I uh, applied for a news photographer position in a local newspaper, uh, Manila Times. Uh, during my stay with Manila Times, I'm shooting the police beat, like uh, shooting crime, politics, uh, protest, and disasters. And after, after three years, I went to another newspaper, the Manila Bulletin, and I stayed there for three years also. And after that, I applied for a stringer position for Ajans Prans Press Manila Bureau. So with my stay at Ajans Prans Press, I documented the uh, Typhoon Haiyan back in, uh, in Leyte where almost uh, 4,000 uh, residents there died during the typhoon. So we arrived there uh, the, next, uh, the next day after the typhoon hit Tacloban and we saw lots of dead people. And after that, uh, Time Magazine uh, used the photo that I took also uh, when President Duterte won as president, uh, we, uh, I'm documenting the war on drugs. So also uh, I covered the uh, situation inside the Quezon City Jail. It's a jail constructed to occupy 800 inmates, but now it has 3,800. It's a two-month negotiation. Two months negotiation. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. At first, uh, during AFP Manila's editorial meeting, uh, Ayi Makaraig, uh, our reporter in Manila, pitched the idea of doing a story in uh, uh, on a jail, and I suggested Quezon City Jail. So Ayi, uh, our reporter in Manila wrote a letter to Department of Justice and also at the Bureau of Jail and Management. But when the warden saw the letter, he said, oh, we're not, uh, you're not allowed to document inside. So the writer uh, asked International Red Cross to talk to the warden. So that's when the warden agreed to let us in. And while interviewing the warden, he said that if he'll allow more priest, uh, inmates to uh, be inside the jail, he's part of the uh, perpetrator of human rights violation because uh, he's allowing the inmates to suffer like that. So he said that, okay, you can go expose the situation inside. So that's what happened. So he even suggested like uh, the pre so, uh, the stair pictures. He suggested that go there because you'll see like it's like hell. So I just listed his uh, suggestions and visited those places, even the basketball court, the open basketball court, so where the inmates are sleeping on the floor. Before the photo essay was published, the warden asked, don't show the faces of the inmates. But for me, I need to get a strong impact a response from the audience, from the Filipino and the authorities. So I need to show the faces, not the close-up, but the like a wide shot of them, their situation. So when the photos were published, her secretary was texting me like, why did you publish that and this and that and that? But after a week, when the warden saw the effect, it has a positive effect, like a senator gave a statement and the mayor of Quezon City, or he'll construct another prison that can occupy like uh, 5,000 inmates. But when he saw the good reaction of the authority, he, he texted me that if you want to come and shoot again, you're free to come in. The article and the photo essay's goal is that to to somehow help the inmates to mm, to help their ano, situation. So because of Duterte's uh, the government has a program, the War on Drugs campaign. What the uh, warden said, it's a joke, but he said that 
these guys inside the jail is lucky compared to the guys, the drug dealers or drug addicts outside because they're just being killed. So even, <laughs> that's what the warden said, it's just a joke, but still their situation is uh, uh, deplorable. So that's our uh, responsibility or as a photographer to uh, to observe and to look for a social issue or a humanitarian problem, document it, and use our news agency or newspaper to create uh, or spread uh, the create an awareness so the public would uh, like respond. So that's our that's the photographer's goal. So that's it.